Have you ever heard about Impressionism? Maybe not, right? That's okay, though. I'm gonna describe it in a very, very basic way, okay? Well, Impressionism was a form of painting by which, with a bunch of simple strokes, rough dabs, the artist was still able to allow people to get an immediate grasp at the images and scenes, even though one couldn't see them perfectly. In other words, the artist communicates pretty well using a not clear message, just an impression of it. But what does it have to do with English speaking? One of the biggest complaints when it comes to listening practice is People can follow natives in movies, series, cartoons, TV shows because they speak too fast or too confusingly. Okay, now think of your own language. Do you always speak clearly in casual conversations? I doubt. I doubt it. I mean, come on. In casual conversations, who does it? We listen and speak our own language all the time, every day, all day long. We get so used to the sound of words that speaking clearly becomes kind of uh, unnecessary. It turns out that we listen to a blurred sound, a messed up sound, a totally confusing sound and still we get it just like impressionism so today we're gonna take off on a journey through this impressionism stuff here's the plan I'm gonna put down some short and very common phrases here and then step one we read the phrase slowly and carefully Step two, we check for blendings, linkings, connections between the words. Step three, let's see how some words sound differently inside a phrase. We know it happens. Step four, we say the whole phrase again the way it is now. Pay attention to the sounds you listen more. The sounds that stand out to your ears. The next step, the step five, is tricky but important. It's all about applying impressionism itself. We have to turn this phrase into a fuzzy version of what it is. So I thought about two different methods we could try out. Number one is speed. Say the words faster and faster to the point it nearly stopped making sense in your head. But look, I said nearly, okay? Step two, number two is a bit of fun here, a bit of fun. We have to have fun, okay? So step two is uh, talk like a drunk person. Speak like a drunk person. It is about mumbling the words, babbling the words. When you speak like this, because not only fast, but also whispered and mumbled speech can be a hurdle when listening to natives. And remember, don't let the words lose the sense too far, okay? And another thing to remember, the point here is not to become a fast speaker, but a good listener, okay? And a good speaker too, good speaker, not a fast speaker, right? So, number one is, I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. 
I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. I'm having a, having a, having a blast. Notice this little word a becomes a, which is called the schwa sound, schwa. So having a blast becomes having a blast, having a, having a blast. So I'm having a blast. 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 Okay, get the sound. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast is a phrase which means I'm having fun. I'm having a great time. A good time. Right? Let's speed it up. I'm having a blast. 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 Number two, not so fast. Not so fast. Not so fast. Not so fast. Not so, not so, not so fast. 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 Okay? Not so fast. 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 Hey, not so fast. Number three, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything is, everything is, everything is fine. Everything is fine. So, how's it going? Everything's fine. 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 I told you, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Number four, no matter what. 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 In this case, we see the word matter losing its sound, its R sound. So instead of saying matter, no matter what, we say no matter what. No matter, no matter. We don't say no matter what. Okay? No matter what. 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 Number five. This is bananas. This is bananas. This is bananas. 
This is bananas. This is, this is, this is bananas. Just a little tip about the pronounce of the word bananas. Okay, um, the first and the last syllable of the word is they they are pronounced like schwa. Okay, ba nus. B -ness. B -ness. And the second syllable, the stressed syllable of the word, the strongest syllable of the word, is pronounced like this this A is pronounced like like man, like hand, like ant. Okay? So it's b ne 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 b ne -ness. b ne -ness. bananas. Bananas, all right? Bananas, bananas. This is 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 bananas means this is crazy. This is nonsense. This is bananas. This is bananas. This is bananas. This is bananas. What? This is bananas. This is bananas. Number six, down to earth. 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 Or down earth down earth down earth down to earth sometimes when a t comes after an n some people drop this t you know to let the to let the speech more 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 fluid okay so down to earth becomes down earth we have we have words such as um, advantages, um, World Trade Center, or Clint Eastwood, and so on. This is why you can also hear down to earth, down to earth, down to earth, down to earth, down to earth. Do you know what down to earth is? Are you down to earth? A down-earth person is, let's say, a man which is a man who's rich, who's famous, and even so, he doesn't think he's better than anyone else just because he's rich. Okay, he's a humble person, um, despite of his position in society. This is a down-to-earth person. Down-to-earth. Down-to-earth. Down to earth, down to earth, down to earth, down to earth. Number seven. I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd Never ask. I thought you never ask. I thought you, thought you, thought you. I thought you never ask. Never ask. Never ask. I thought you never ask. I thought I'd never ask. I thought I'd never ask. I thought I'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask. I thought I'd 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 never ask. Number eight. The rest is history the rest 
is history. The rest is history. The rest is history. The rest is the rest is the rest is history. The rest is history. The rest is history. The rest is history. This phrase is used when a story is so, so famous and widely known that you don't have to tell the whole thing. For example, you can say, um, one day John Lennon met Paul McCartney and the rest is history. You don't need to tell the rest, do you? The rest is history. 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 Number nine. As a matter of fact. 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 As, 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 as a matter of, matter of, matter of, matter of fact. As a matter of fact. In this phrase, we have two words becoming schwa. We have a in as a matter, and we have of in matter of fact. So we have as a matter, as a matter, and matter of fact, matter of fact. Truth be told, this bit, matter of fact, this a, uh, is hardly ever heard. You probably you probably listen to people say something like um as a matter of fact as a matter of fact okay be prepared as a matter of fact 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 Number 10, simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as, simple as, simple as that. Or, simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. And one more time, we have a case of schwa happening here. So, simple as, simple as, becomes simple as. Simple as, simple as. When put together, simple as. And else, people have a hard time to put together as and that because of the sound, as that, as that, it's too much work. So, when, when people want to speed it up, they say, simple as that, simple as that. So, be prepared one more time. Simple as that, simple as that, simple as that, simple as that, as simple as that. 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 Number eleven. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get 
this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me, let me, let me get this. Let me get this. Get this. Get this. Get this straight. Get this straight. Get this straight. Let me 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 get this straight means let me see if I understood what you said. Let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. Okay, let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. Last one, number 12, is comfort zone. 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 Well, this is a little tricky. A little tricky because some people pronounce the T in comfort and some people don't. And depending on it, the sound of the word zone changes a little bit. Okay, when you say the T, comfort, the word zone sounds like zone with an S. Comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone. And when, when they don't, when people don't pronounce the T, the word zone sounds like zone, comfort zone, comfort zone. Okay, but like I always say, wait for the worst. Okay, be prepared. Comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone. Comfort zone is when you don't want to try nothing new. You don't want to take risk. You don't leave your own world. You live in this, you know, this little world, and you don't know. You don't want to try nothing new. This is comfort zone. Comfort zone. Comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone, my comfort zone, out of comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone. What? What? You want me to go? Let me let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You want me to go home? You want me to go? No, no. I don't want to go home. I'm having a blast here. I'm having a blast here. Okay. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Just get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Get out of here. Simple as that. Simple as that. Get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. This is bananas, I know. But I love you, man. I love you. You're my friend forever, okay? No matter what. You're my friend no matter what. All right? We're friends forever. Him? He's an asshole. He's a fucking asshole. He's a dick. He's a dick. All right? He's a dick. But you, not you, you are the greatest man in the world. You're very down to earth, man. You're down to earth. You're great, pal. You're great. What? What? You want me to dance? Dance? I thought I'd never ask. Let's go. Look, look, 
You see the girl over there? You see the girl? She's lovely, isn't she? She's lovely. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast, dude. Not so fast. Okay? As a matter of fact, she's my wife. Okay? She's my wife. We met. We met. Twenty years ago, twenty years ago, and the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. She got my heart, you know. She kicked me out of my comfort zone. She kicked me out of my comfort zone. I had no chance. Well, that's it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids and adults. I look forward to see you again, and cheers. Bye-bye. Woo!